So the Golden State Warriors are in Toronto tonight, and um, I gotta say, kind of have mixed emotions about this one. Yeah, Steph's not playing, and um, you know, kind of a big deal. He just became the NBA's leader in all-time three-pointers made. Um, so it's kind of like facing Thanos without the Infinity Stones. I mean, the Raps have a really, really good chance of winning this one, and it, it's gonna be still a tough test. But uh, I gotta say, man. Uh, I was really looking forward to seeing Steph make some more threes, add some more threes to his uh, his all-time record now, but I guess that's not going to happen tonight. So, the Raps, I think, have a really good chance at winning this one. Let's get to it. What a game in Brooklyn. The Raps and the Nets went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And let me tell you something, the game was pretty even for the most part until the third quarter the Raps erupted for 44 points. It was not something you're used to seeing this season, especially given that the fourth quarter, sorry, the third quarter is kind of like kryptonite for the Raps, but uh, this time it wasn't. However, when you get back to the game, 48 minutes was not enough for both teams. It had to go into OT, and uh, unfortunately the Raps, they fell 131 to 129. The Nets won that one, but uh, if we take a look at the call review, Ozmakers favored the Nets by eight and a half points. Pretty heavy favorites. The over-under was set at 216, and if we look at my picks, I was two for three, so I took an L on the over-under, but I was right about the money line and the point spread. So, my overall record is now 38 and 46. Moving on, as you just saw, the Raps take on the Warriors, but Steph Curry will not be dressing up. Neither will Andrew Wiggins, Andre Iguodala, or Draymond Green. So the Raps have a pretty good chance at winning this one, if you ask me. In fact, if we get to the odds, oddsmakers are favoring the Raps by 8.5 points. And they've set the over-under at 203. And I'm going to go with the Raps because, well, those four players I just mentioned, they account for 58 of the Warriors' points. And that's, that's a lot of points. And uh, it's going to be hard to do that. Now, the Raps' point differential wins sits at around... 12 points, they average around 109 points. Their opponents average about 97, 98. Now, in terms of what the Raps can do on the defensive side of the ball, there's one guy that they need to focus on, and it's not the guy you're usually thinking of because he's out. It's Jordan Poole. Drain the pool. This guy can still fill the basket. He is averaging about 17, 18 points per game, and, well, that's second on the Warriors. Now, in terms of what the Raps can do on offense, I would say second chance points. Focus on those. Right now, the Raps are third in the league at second chance points. And since the Warriors don't have their interior presence, Draymond Green present for this one, that's where the Raps need to attack. Now, with that being said, that's it for me. But thanks for watching the lineup. Make sure you check out the game day preview. It's already been posted. On top of that, nothing but positives. The quick react and the wrap up will all be available on RaptorsRepublic.com, as will the game day recap tomorrow morning. Now, in the meantime, Click below and hit the subscribe button. That way you can subscribe to all of our great Raptors public content on YouTube. And um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time on the lineup when the Raps take on the Orlando Magic. That's going to be back in Toronto on Monday.